So far we have created a hello world API and we have converted that code into TypeScript. What we have to do now is to connect that API with the MongoDB. For that we we need to create a MongoDB. For that uh, I am using MLab, which is a hosted uh, MongoDB platform. I will show how to create one database. We can create a small databases freely in this site mlab.com. Uh, we should have we have to create an account first. It can be done freely. And now I am going to create a database. Create new. There are, we have to select the cloud provider Amazon Web Services, Google Cloud Platform, Microsoft Azure. We can choose any cloud platform. Uh, I will select Google Cloud Platform. Uh, since we are doing a demo one. We will use free sandbox environment. Continue. Here we have to select region uh, for Google Cloud Platform, only one region is available. Here we have to give a name for the database. I will give that database as FPJS Basic. We'll see that uh, it is completely free one. Total price is free. Submit order. Now we have a, have created a new database that is AppyJS Basic. Click on click on that. For login to this database, we should we need to have a user. We'll create that user a database user. Here we have to give a name. Uh, I will give the name as demo to give a password demo123 confirm password if you want we can make this read only but I'm going to do CRUD operations therefore I am not going to make this user read only now we have a database we have a database user For connecting to the database, we need a MongoDB client. In this tutorial, I am using mongoose.js as the MongoDB client. For installing that, we have to type this command as we did earlier. Then
now i am going to uh, change the server ts file since we have uh, typescript install and we have co convert the code into typescript we can make the this server ts as a class we'll create that In uh, creating class, if you want to import this anywhere else, you have to export it. I will add a constructor function. And I will add a init function. I will move. All this code to inside any function. I will move this whole part inside any method. Now I will remove this these codes. Since I have used await here, we have to make it async function. I will add an instance variable here called server and I will use it here without creating new constants here constant here it will be this here so this this those are the server ts file changes now we are going to create a index ts file we can create a file okay, one thing we see i have to add uh, this here as so well that is why it showed an error Okay. It's the content of index ts file. Import the API server which we have created here and create an instance of API server name of the this server and run the init method of api server class that's it i have to do a change in package json that is main point change i have changed it to server again i'm going to change it to index js still we haven't connected this api to a mongodb uh, after this coding changes we'll check whether it is running properly
Yes, it is running properly. Inside the constructor function, I'm going to connect to the MongoDB. I have edited this code. I, I have to import this MongoDB for, uh, sorry, Mongoose. We'll add that uh, import part. It will be like this import. Thing as here we can use any name. It is referred like here. from mongoose here we have imported mongoose and we have created connection to the mongodb uh, this string can be seen in the Mongo, uh, sorry mlab as well here to connect MongoDB, this is the uh, connection URI, DB user, DB password, hosting, port, database name. That is it here. Uh, that is connection to the MongoDB in. Uh, mongoose we have uh, events when it is connected this function will be run so i have added a uh, console log to identify whether it is connected properly in error event i have added a, again console log to identify it has a error when connecting to the mongodb We'll try it to start server again. It is getting an error. Uh, I want to highlight why it is getting an error. Uh, in my presentation, I have had part here. It is config JSON file change. It is config file is used to uh, compile the TypeScript file into JavaScript for using imports like this. If you compare these two imports, there is a difference between these two to use this type of imports we have to change in tsconfig file that is es module into op to false we will change it and we will try again yes now it is compiled and but still we are getting an error to connecting to mongodb we need to check whether we have uh, written the connection string yes i have uh, added uh, wrong hosting These two are wrong one. I have to correct it uh, from the MongoDB.
we will check whether it is connected properly to the MongoDB. So when we started and connected to MongoDB, this, this console log it means it is connected correctly. Now uh, we have the Hello World API and it is connected to a MongoDB. 